In this video, we'll talk a little bit about how XKeys products can be raw panel enabled. That means they get an IP address and a port and you can access them either through a terminal for, from your own applications or you can use Reactor to in, integrate them into uh, broadcast control workflows. And uh, it, raw panel enabling these products is um, basically um, possible to, to explore using the um, Raw Panel Explorer, which is a tool we have designed that will scan the network for such devices. And uh, here on the table in front of me, I have uh, some XKeys devices. There's uh, a wire interface, which is like GPIO, which this is XK24, I think, 24 buttons. The uh, T-Bar, this is a uh, XK12 Jock, I think it might be called. And this is a joystick uh, version, kind of the same. And this one is a button that is associated with this USB device, um, which is like a USB stick that is offering a GPIO. So these are the ones that we'll be looking at in uh, this um, video. And uh, uh, I can go through each one of them. So, so for instance, with the Raw Panel Explorer tool that you can download from our GitHub repo, you can connect to, say, the T-Bar, for instance. And when you do, then as I take the T-Bar uh, here, um, pressing buttons will give you a, a response visibly in the tool. So this is a great way to test if things are working as expected. For instance, the T-bar and uh, yeah, also the button. You can also send feedback in return. And the cool thing about this, now you see this one is lighting up in red. By the way, this is an RGB panel, so I can basically pick any value and play with those, which is uh, pretty nice and neat. Uh, and, and cool, for those of you who want to integrate, uh, there is um, the, the command that's going out into the panel is actually shown right here. So to set that color for that, you just send this JSON string over in the uh, terminal. So for instance, I could copy paste this one and then let's just clear out the panel. And then if I, um, let me see, I need to check what is the IP address it got. It is on five and port 9940, okay? So if I go to my terminal here, type in NC, the IP address 9940, I'm connected, type list, that's a command. It tells me this, you see this is the command coming back. This is raw panel, this is how easy it is. And now if I paste in this command, enter, I'm now turning on this button in red. I thought so, at least. Let's just try once again. Okay, I did not. So actually, uh, going back to our Explorer tool here, it was not the full story. I, I need to go up here, turn it on, make it some color that I pick, and then I need to set this one send full state. So it's actually like the complete thing you see right here, which is it includes the state. The state value four means that it turns on. That's because in raw panel, you turn things on and off and you can also set them to dimmed, which is what happens here. Let me just copy this text ring. So you set it dimmed then you see that it's actually dimmed down a little bit. Now it's more highlighted blue and then it's finally off. But if I go over to my terminal and I paste in this command, it's now full on in blue. All right, so that's a little bit raw panel stuff for you guys. So, and you see the T bar here. So with this one, I can explore uh, the the raw panel enabled devices. Let's try the jerk. Um, that is uh, is this guy. It would have uh, similar responses from the buttons. Um, and also as I'm turning the jog wheel, you can see I get pulses and I can also read the speed value from the jog function. So that was this guy. If I take the next one, the joystick, you will um, see sort of the similar thing. Let's just uh, try to move the joystick here. And um, that is actually, it's, it's a little bit tricky because it's very, very difficult not to rotate the top. And um, contrary to other joysticks I've tried, this one is like an encoder. So it actually sends encoder pulses. So it's kind of messing up my trigger scope there on the side, but it does work. and. We have also uh, pulses from the buttons coming in. You can turn these buttons on and off if you want, but they are, if you look in the topology down here, you can see they are red and blue only. So it's only possible to like turn them on in, let me see, now it's actually red. It's not very, very clear, but it's turned on red. And if I choose blue, it's turned on in blue. Um, works better on the T-bar. Um, module, but hey, red and blue can be enabled, like you know, from these X keys uh, products. The topology down here is what comes delivered from the 
uh, device itself. So it, it, this is how we are drawing that drawing you see on the screen right here. This is coming out of the information being sent over, which is a combination of SVG and JSON. And um, you can also read the trigger messages that is uh, received from the device, including here you, you see the uh, values of, of the joystick. We have this one, simple 24 button interface. So that what we call XK24. And if I connect to that guy, you see this for the topology. And once again, I can ensure the function of the buttons by pressing them. Okay, the GPI functions, we have this uh, HD15 wire interface, which is uh, for many GPI inputs, this one. Uh, so we have a number of inputs here, which are on a DB15 connector, which is like a VGA connector, kind of. But the XK3 is um, actually kind of my favorite because you have three GPI inputs on a single USB stick kind of device. And uh, here I have it hooked up to a, a button, a red button here that would allow me to test GPI number one. So that's pretty neat. It's just a simple input. There's no output in the topology, so you're not able to send a color back to it and so on. This enables you to add uh, X keys devices onto your blue pill. So for instance, let's say that we went in here and um, I created a new project, uh, X keys test, then I would be able to assign actions to it inside of reactor, which is our orchestration software that is being used to do all kinds of things. It's uh, running out of my blue pill, which is also hosting this whole thing. And um, um, if I didn't say, the package you need to run is the X panel X keys. If you go into this one, you can see which devices are connected over USB, which ports they are getting, how many ad hoc devices you can add like this, and so on. There are some settings. Uh, this is all explained on our wiki page. And then you have USB-A. It must be enabled for your device. On the wiki page, you can read all about this. We have a whole section about raw panel. It includes articles on how you can connect stream decks, how you can have uh, touch panels from iPads, etc., on uh, on raw panel and integrate that. The real smart panels are available on raw panel. You have tally, uh, tally lamps. You have uh, hit devices in general, some game pads and so on. Densitron U ready screens is uh, here, and then some kind of special thing where you can integrate with Crestron using raw panel. Um, that that's like for Skyhoy products. So if we look at the X keys article, this is how you know it explains what we're actually just doing here using a USB hub, and then uh, using a a, a blue pill server to actually facilitate the conversion. These are the models which are supported. This is how it works explained with the USB hub in between with a um, instructions about how to use raw plan explorer and uh, so forth. So all this information is here, including information about licensing. If we go to the home screen, add a panel then, because these raw panels, were, um, the, the X keys are converted into raw panels. They are announced on MDNS. So they are super easy to find as well. And if I wanted to have my little, um, uh, if I wanted to have the T-bar, for instance, uh, let me see, where's the T-bar? Really quick, up here. Yes, okay, so there we have the T-bar. Uh, I can even uh, check if it is lighting up correctly by testing that. I have the simulation tool here where I can, uh, I don't know if it actually, no, it doesn't show me. Um, maybe it does in configuration because sometimes if we enable this one, then it might actually, yeah, you can kind of see that it reacts to these. But this is besides the point today. It's just super easy to add these and then you can go about all the configuration magic that you're used to. So in this case, it could be the, the little USB stick that was connected to my red button. And I can do things with that by creating a new con custom configuration of some sort with a name. And then I can go into the configuration tab and use Reactor 2.0 to configure my XK3 USB stick by clicking on the GPI input representative. And then over here, I can assign actions if I had actually added devices, which I can quickly and easily do in here. Uh, I like to just find an ASIM switch of some type and uh, select that because they are abundant on our network. So now you have an ASIM switch you're connected going back to configuration. You can assign this GPI pin to anything like an auxiliary output select. Auxiliary one, choose output four, and bang. When you press that one, you'll get exactly that on your ASIM switcher. So this is what you can do for all of these devices. But my main point is that all these many X key devices are converted into raw panel using the X keys, X panel X keys application. You can write, read about it here. 
And uh, with that, you can either use React or any third party software to integrate them over the network. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please send me questions on innovationlabs.com if, uh, if you have any inquiry to make about this solution, any further suggestions.